Oh, I know I look bad. That's why I'm making this video. So it is December 29th, I think. I had to check my phone to actually see what the date was. So sad. I have four kids, their ages, well, in February they'll be three, five, seven, and eight years old. Three of them are boys, the five year old is a girl. And we do Christmas hard. Like, we go big time. Gingerbread house, looking at lights, going to like see lights set to music. Um, and then we have three big events where we open presents. And I am exhausted because throughout all of that, I had the flu. Um, my soon to be seven year old had a did he have an ear infection? A sinus infection. And he had strep. And then the soon to be three year old and the seven year old both have had the stomach bug. So like, I've been cleaning and cleaning and dealing with kids that feel bad and I've been feeling bad and taking people to the doctor, all that. And so, all of that to say, last night I fell asleep with all of my makeup still on. And I knew it was happening and I didn't care. So today, in order to hope remedy the situation that is my face, I'm going to use my new Dark Angels. So this says Face and Body Cleanser. Um, for me, this costs too much to use on my whole body. I think my body's fine, so I'm just going to use it on my face. It says our Velvety Black Sugar Charcoal and Rasul Mud Cleanser exfoliates, absorbs excess oil, and brightens complexions the nemesis of blocked pores. And then the how to use says, in the palm of your hand, mix a pea-sized amount with a little water, massage it into your skin, and then rinse it off. Now, I've been using this for quite some time, um, and I really like how it smells. Did I read the ingredients? I don't know what the ingredients are. I'll look that up on the back half. But to me, there's a citrus in there, and it, it's nice. I like it a lot. And you can see, oh good look, you can see like sugar crystals. This looks, it's very black. It has charcoal in it. And um, my kids thought it was hilarious because they thought I got um, coal for Christmas. The way I've been using this is I have a small sample container from Lush. And I'll take, like this chunk is way too big so I'm just going to break a piece off of it. And it breaks, you know, really when I think about it, the texture right now is kind of reminiscent of the texture of the fun that we've gotten. What if it was just black fun? Which, that's, that's a thing. At least in the Santa fun. Hmm. Black fun with sugar mixed in. It's probably not, but that's what it feels like. And so now I have this little thing jam-packed full. And I had a sample of it like this, and it lasted me forever. So I'm going to take this larger pot, which is still very full, and uh, I'm not going to put it like on the edge of the bathtub or anything. Most of the time when I use this product, I use it when I'm in the tub because it's messy. <laughs> You'll see in a minute. Um, but I'm not taking you into the tub with me, so we're going to do it at the bathroom sink. This is definitely a product you want to pull your hair back. Um, with, there's no way I could use this with my hair down and survive. So, um, also, this isn't something that I'm going to rub over my eyes. So, I'm going to take off the makeup on my eyes. I'm just using the Mary Kay oil-free eye makeup remover. Um, if there's a Lush product out there for, for removing your eye makeup, I have yet to find it. Okay, eye makeup is mostly gone. So now what we're going to do is out of the little pot, the sample pot, it says to take a pea sized amount. So I scoop some out. Oh, you can't see. So I have this much in my hand. And then I'm going to add some water to it to make a paste. And for me, sometimes I add too much water. And it'll end up running down my hand, and that's where it's kind of messy for me. So I'm going to add a little water. A little bit of water, and then I'm going to mix it together. Okay. 
And this is like, it feels like mud. I did a pretty good job today, actually. And then so from here, I scoop up as much as I can onto my finger. And I just take this and smush it on my face. So pretty. And then I can control this stuff a little bit more. Now, because of the charcoal and the sugar, this definitely has an exfoliating quality to it. It's a good look, huh? I think I actually need a little bit more water to sort of work this around. So I'm gonna put some water on my fingers. Yeah, there we go. That loosens it up. So I would definitely say err on the side of too dry while it's in your hand because you can add water with your fingers on the back half. So normally when I'm doing this, it's about this point where one of my kids walk in and they're like, Mom, what are you doing? Nothing. Just cleaning my face. I like my face, Mom. You like my face? What is it called? Here, hang on. You want to be on my video? Here, come here. <laughs> Look right there. What'd you say about my face? Pretty. It's pretty. I, no, you'll get your fingers dirty. Oh. Oh. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay. You watching Paw Patrol or you playing toys? Watching Paw Patrol. Okay. See you later. You give me a kiss. <coughs> You wanna give me a kiss? No. No, okay, I wouldn't either. Love you, bye. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I told you, either a kid comes in or somebody rings the doorbell. Okay, so I just have a wet washcloth and I'm gonna wipe it off my face. Yes, this is white and this is black. I've done it before and it doesn't stain. Um, it might make them a little dingy, but I'm a be real. These are cheap white washcloths, so don't worry about it too much. Lovely. I'm just gonna flip it over. Most of it came off with that first path. You can see it pass. You can see a little bit of it in my hairline. Still. I'm gonna rinse off the washcloth. And so just rinsing it out in the sink, you can still see it's quite dirty, but after I put it through the wash, like I kept telling myself, oh, I'm gonna pay attention and see which one used Dark Angels. Like I can't tell. So um, that tells me that it rinses out pretty well. Um, my only con for right now is that this stuff does tend to like get under my fingernails and makes my fingernails look dirty. So if I was in a hurry, this is something I wouldn't want to use because it's like I've looked down like when I've done this and gotten ready to run out of the house and it looks like I was gardening or something because this product was in my nail beds and under my fingers so under my fingernails so um, that's how you use it so my face is completely dried off it feels really smooth although it does feel a little dry so this is a product I would definitely follow with some sort of moisturizer and for me this is where that full of grace serum bar really comes in as helpful um, at the beginning of the video I said something smelled citrusy but when I look at the ingredients the ones that are listed on the website that aren't on the side of the pot are avocado oil sandalwood oil rosewood oil and then a couple of things I can't pronounce None of them sound citrusy, but then there's also just one that says fragrance. So, I don't know. It kind of smells, sometimes it smells to me like Fruit Loops, like the lemon flavor in Fruit Loops. I don't know. It's pleasant. And I feel very clean right now. I feel a lot better. Just that one little step. Like, I was tired and funky and whatever, and I feel a lot better just having sort of treated myself to Dark Angels. So, 
it's definitely one that I recommend. It'll take me a long time to get through that pot. And if I didn't mention, the pot is the large size pot, but I paid for the smaller size. Um, they were just out of the small pots. I went in the day before Thanksgiving and they were getting lots of new shipments of things. So they had the roll of product that they slice off in hunks and then fill the pots, but they didn't have the smaller size pot for it. So um, I don't mind that. I kind of think I maybe got a little extra from that. So I'm good with it. Dark Angels, give it a shot.